Hello everybody, welcome to the official Chalice 2024 Season 3 Round of 16. Uh, as you can see it was a 64 man tournament, we're just skipping the 16 because you know 64 is a lot and half of the people aren't very good. And in the booth with me is Dimmy G, hello! Hello everybody, what a fantastic 16 we have. Mmm, very exciting. Let's dive straight in. First up, we've got Andre. You can see here what a route Andre had, by the way. Look at that. He beat World Sitar in the first round. Second round, he beat Dion Lord. And Dion Lord had had to play Diomed in the first round. Like, that's a crazy little section, isn't it? Yeah, really top heavy bracket. Uh, I mean, World Sitar's world class. And uh, Dion Lord, he's like uh, world class as well, isn't he? So. And DMA like definitely, the thing, yeah. definitely the bracket like you don't want to be in, and the fact Andre's got through it is uh, pretty, pretty impressive. Indeed, he's Nurgle. Oh, you can't see Nurgle there on the screen, but trust me, that N stands for Nurgle. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Thirty-seven, ten, eight. You know, decent record. Not the best, but you know, the record doesn't really matter too much in in this league. Um, I mean, he deserves to win Chalice for. Playing 50 odd games of Nurgle in ladder. Exactly, yeah. 1740 TV, so he's got a bit of wiggle room if people play a skill up. And, uh, yeah, what's he got? got? M and G's. Has he got any? No, he's got, he's got uh, Niggles and minus AVs, but he's got a full squad for his next game. Um, guard, stand firm, block, guard, stand firm. I'm trying to work out where you can see the level of players here. Oh yeah, so that's the level. So this has got three skills. Yep, this has got four skills. Okay, so it's hard, isn't it? What's this bloater got? Oh my god, he's got claws. Okay, block guard mighty claws. It's really this is really hard to navigate. Block. So he's only got three bloaters. Yeah. Are they the actual? Oh, all right. Is that the actual foul appearance icon? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Is that new? Is that new this season? Is it? I mean, they're all new, aren't they? From uh, from Blood Bowl two. I don't know if it's Yeah, no, new. I know, but like, didn't foul appearance. I, I, I don't remember seeing that icon before. I don't remember seeing it either. But, um, you know, that's that's Blood Bowl 3 for you, isn't it's it? It's probably because it never pops, yeah. <laughs> Entirely forgettable. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Dirty Player Sneaky Git, very nice. Played the full 40 TV for the Sneaky Git. He didn't bother, you know, cycling. Didn't bother, like, running him agilities to cycle him. He I just, mean, they're, just they're, the they're pretty much the, the best players in BB3, right? They are, yeah, pretty much. And uh, he's got a killer there. Block, claws, juggernaut, mighty blow, tackle. Nice. The wonderful no. ball carrier. Double move up, edge up, blodge. Yeah. Really They're nice. the second best players in Blood Bowl 3, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, every ball carrier, double move up, edge up, blodge, yeah, pretty much. Crazy. Pretty much that's just what every ball carrier wants to get. And uh, oh, the the skills are older alphabetical. Yeah, it's really hard to work out what it, where anything is, but I guess that's what it is. It's the alphabetical. Flip me. Um, <laughs> block guard, stand firm, and block mighty tackle. So there you go. So two mighty blow tacklers, a couple of claws. Um, it's an all right, team, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, did um, I think Andre won BB two chalice with Nurgle. I mean, he, he certainly won it, mm. and he certainly was in it a lot with Nurgle. <laughs> I just remember endless Chalice games of Andre on Nurgle, <laughs> to be fair. There you go. Maybe not. Maybe he didn't win it with Nurgle. But he's, he's definitely been in, like, finals and stuff with him, for sure. Mm. But, Interesting. Top player. Probably one of the favourites. Yeah, yeah, undoubtedly. Undoubtedly one of the favourites. I mean, just look at who he's dispatched on his way there. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, incredible incredible already. And uh, the URL is nuffle.xyz. I'll put a link to the uh, in the description of the uh, YouTube video. And he's up against uh, Lock Ragen with Dark Elves. Lock Ragen has beaten Pablo there. And then Olivia Dulac. So there you go. A bit of a scalp there for Lock Ragen. And... 25, 10, yeah. 8, 13 players, undead. Undead? Um, yep, that's easy. I, I saw the, yeah, I saw the team logo. I, thought it was, I just assumed it was Dark Elves. Yeah, so did I. I thought he was really he's really <laughs> in trouble here. I thought he's really in trouble here versus yeah. uh, <laughs> versus Nurgle. But actually, 
It's not too bad. He's got a defensive mummy look. Very nice defensive mummy. Um, what is that on the other mummy? Second skill. Is that grab? Is that, is that what grab it? Oh wow. Yeah, because he's got four skills, right? So you go block. Uh, stand for yeah, so it's not in the orders that he's picked it. Yeah. No, no, it's 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 alphabetical. Yeah, which isn't ideal, is it? But I guess you know. Look, this is the one of the things. It's a great website. Uh, Galentio yeah, made the site, it. and it is yeah. amazing. And uh, you know, thank oh, is you. it Galentio? Did yeah, this as yeah. Well? Nice work. Yeah, so thank you very much, Galentio. It is amazing. But Portuguese, are not he? Portuguese. Portuguese, yeah. But please, please, <laughs> sort out the skills, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Good God Almighty! <laughs> yeah, so a uh, couple of nice whites, couple of nice mummies, and uh, the ball carrier. He's got a, he's what's got a, what's he's got a dirty player sneaky git. Ghoul, cool. yeah. love to see it. Um, Seventeen sixty, so pretty much identical TV. Some other things. What's I this? mean, that is one thing, isn't it? I, I guess in this chalice. You're gonna see less inducements than like historically with these sort of things. I mean, obviously, if someone gets absolutely banged on, you're gonna see some, but like with that cap, it's probably less likely that you're gonna get inducements. As, as many inducements. Yes, yeah, 1800 TV cap for this tournament. Um, the next season will be 1600, but for this one, it's yeah. 18. Yeah. I mean, you think like what the meta's gonna be. I mean, it, that's that is. So I know like people have sort of touched on the. Uh, the TV like cap and it's obviously some people are not very pro it and some people I don't know how people feel about it but it will change the matter of each chalice right it's uh, yes I think that's good a bit of variance because... it is I yeah I think it's like I mean like that's a positive result of something that may not be <laughs> like good but yeah. I mean, like thinking about it, having a different meta for each chalice, it kind of stretches players and probably pushes them into teams that they may not want to play. Like, I mean, if if you had this cap in Blood Bowl two, like Undead would be way more like it was just a chorf meta, wasn't it? And it was mm. like a chorf meta for the entirety of it. Well, so. Ch chorf, Nurgle, and Chaos were all that equal, really. They were all pretty equal. Yeah, it was. On. It was meta, just, said, yeah. yeah, yeah, it was it was just Crucifer that made good choice number one. <laughs> yeah, um, that's true. Six chalices and uh, I mean like be like Rick won it with Chorfs. I think mm. there's a couple of others. Oh um, yeah, yeah, they they were good at they were good at converting to wins, but if you take out Cruz, their their win rates were all about the same. It was it was only it was just Cruz himself <laughs> bumped up the, the, the Chorf win rate, which is pretty yeah, crazy. Yeah, um, that is pretty crazy too. Mm. So here's Zalenthia. Uh, he's beaten Archibald and Will King to get there. And what does he have? Let's find out. It might take a little. It might take that a hot minute. Like underworld, isn't it? It does look like Underworld. It is Underworld. A 19-3-1. A pretty acceptable record for Underworld. I mean, like honestly, it's expected, right? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. I wasn't even joking. That's acceptable yeah, from Underworld. I mean, I wouldn't even say acceptable. <laughs> I would actually stay expected right and uh, I mean like he look at his TV his TV is 1100 so he's probably getting inducements as well and it's yeah. playing starting teams with a block uh, claws horns mighty blow tackler there the gutters blood well, two yeah. heads yeah uh, shadowing Absolutely. kick I guess these are randoms yeah these are randoms oh no they weren't randoms right because these were um, this was previous season there's not even randoms on the team in, in the new season, random. they'd be even. They, this team would be even better. He's paying full TV for all these rubbish skills on linemen. <laughs> uh, the goblin with horns, goblin with two heads, snotling the sneaky git, glorious. No. And, uh, no. I... Oh, he's got a few missed next games. It's actually, it actually wasn't as high as it, it wasn't. As like, so, hang on. Doesn't he need to have fifteen players to get a star in? But does he, is he need well, he's to got three miss next. He's got three miss next to me. So, so they they don't count in your roster if you're picking a star. Correct. Okay. Okay. I didn't know that. So yeah. So his team actually wasn't that low. It wasn't actually as low as 1100. It was more. Who's like, he missing then? He's missing the lineman. A lineman, a goblin, and a snotling. And a snotling. So and he could. He, I mean, this he's got 405k, so he may well just buy your replacement goblin. Lineman. And a replacement goblin and a snotling, right? He might, yeah, he might even replace the lineman. Depends how much he likes. I mean, you want to replace 
the Scotland, right? Because the swarming, right? So, yeah. Well, I, depend, I guess, like, what do you drop for the star player? Probably a goblin, right? Or... Uh, th this lineman, maybe keep this lineman and then and then just get a star. He might not get a star because oh, well, we, we need to know what he's playing. Good. Let's see what oh, yeah, he's playing. I'm just assuming that no one else is 1100 <laughs> unless he's got an underworld mirror. Yeah. Well, let's find out. So, this is Darky and he's beaten Dragu and then Nepruha and uh, he looks undead, doesn't he? I mean, that is the logo, so it's probably Orcs, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's 1800, so there, there will be inducements. <laughs> yeah, it's 700 as well. Yep, 2227. And uh, oh. um, a blodge mummy. A blodge mummy. <laughs> Both with guard and block. I think I'd prefer defensive before dodge, you know. Mm, it's interesting, isn't it? It is. It's like, <clears throat> I mean, blodge is pretty great, to be fair, but... All the nickels there, but you know, no, nobody missed next, obviously. And uh, blodgy runners, it's got all four goals as well. No sneaky get DP though. Yeah, wow, soft the team. crabs I gave my flatmates <laughs> were the best. I mean, like, that's the thing with get, like, you're okay. not really gonna get many high value fouls on Underworld though, are you? Like, uh, I mean, well, like, obviously, if the gutter runner's on the floor, then you want to stamp on it, but like, mm. getting it to that position where you can actually do it is pretty tough, but yeah. Uh, I mean, he's got he's got like three tacklers. He's got two tackle mighty blowers, so he's got stuff to like take underworld apart. And it's just it's going to depend on these stars and whether it's a whiz. I'm assuming there'll be a whiz there as well. Yeah, wizard and morg. You can have kind of. Oh my god, it's just horrendous. Isn't it? It's horrendous. <laughs> an 1100 TV team looks better than an 1800. Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Morg. Unbelievable. Morg is pretty good. <laughs> He's got five re-rolls as well. That's wild, isn't it? So he might, he might. No, he can't sack them, can he? Can't, he, he oh. can't. No. That's it. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't notice the five re-rolls, Dimmy. Flip me. I was thinking this doesn't look eighteen hundred. <laughs> yeah, well, like, I mean, it's pretty good in overtime, right? Because obviously, like, <laughs> you got all the eight turns and whatever. Yeah, but that sucks that he can't drop them. It'd be it'd be nice to drop them to like deny inducements or whatever, wouldn't it? But um... I mean, there's where well, you can't deny Morgan a wizard. Like you'd have to drop, I don't know, <laughs> like a lot. What's that? Five thirty. So he's still got a hundred and seventy to drop. Like what? It would be difficult. It would be difficult. Yeah. Uh, but... I mean, it's just uh, <laughs> insane. He can get a biased. I guess that's the thing. He, like Underworld are probably gonna get a biased ref anyway. So like, what do you need to? The sneaky get DP. Well, I guess like it's still good, but <clears throat> it's a one in three to get sent off with a biased ref, isn't it? Mm, very good point. Very good point. Hello, Steve, by the way. And uh, right next up, we've got Bright here, um, who has taken out. Div, div, I can't pronounce that. <laughs> and, uh, uh, I think I think you had it right the first time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then Dusk Bunny and uh, his team is exclamation point question mark. I wonder if it is that or if it's Russian and they just can't uh, can't put it on. Is Bright Russian? Uh, Bright is Russian. Yeah, mm, yeah. So it could be just Russian. Uh, we don't know. Russian to the title. Hey! Yeah. Dark Elves there. Twenty-eight seven fourteen. Um, he has got a miss next game. This oh, his blood step guard friends. blitzer is missed next. L millions of niggles. <laughs> millions. Uh... Millions. But that's okay. It doesn't. It doesn't make them worse on the pitch. Apart from if you use an apple on them, doesn't it? So, it's it's not super impactful to have niggles. Um, but yeah, uh, no. Of... Like, yeah, it's not. It's not. As, it's not as bad as it was. For sure. Yeah. Runner. Then movement nine. Beautiful. And that's the thing, right, as well, is like, if it's an MNG, like, they might as well be dead anyway, because they're going to miss the next round, and you probably want to play in their place, so it's, it, yeah. Yeah. He's got two well, assassins, the mad, the madman. He's got a dirty player sneaky gear. Yeah. Maybe he's got 415k, so he's 40 and 80 with only 11 players, but he's got 415k, so he might, he might get some reserves here. And, uh, but yeah, it's quite good, isn't it? Five blood steppers, two re six blood steppers. He's got two rerolls plus leader on the uh, on the runner. This is horrendous, Jim. This is horrendous. Well, he could buy a third reroll, couldn't he? He's got plenty of money, so it's it's interesting. He's got lots of options there. Lots of options there for. Brian. I mean, he's got a lot of blodgers. How many blodgers is that? Six blood step. Uh, yeah, well, pretty good. 
wouldn't want to be playing against that. Oh, wow. He's up against Strider, who's beating the Chicken and Houtman. It looks like Underworld. It does look like Underworld, yep. 1480, so equal equal TV. Oh, this is a nightmare for Dark Elves, though, isn't it? Um, he's just going to get fouled every turn. Yep, 25-7-6. Uh, we've got a sneaky get Snotling there. A sneaky get Goblin. A so sneaky get even... Dirty Player Goblin, in fact. Oh, no, he's missed next. <gasps> the Goblin's oh. missed next. Triple niggled. <laughs> <laughs> Why won't you die? <laughs> He's got a dirty player snotling and a sneaky git snotling, but not on the same snotling. Uh, oh, what's this? Blodge step, sure feet, two heads. Should have gone. Sp Why hasn't he got sprint first? Why hasn't he gone sprint first? I mean, gut runners don't start with sprint. I know that much. Oh well, you know. I mean, I, who's, who's the question strider, Jim? He's the uh, the running reigning champion of. Blood Bowl three, right? He is. What would what you call him? Is, is the what world champion or what? I the season know. two playoffs champion. Season two playoffs champion. Yeah, and he's like obviously well decorated in other Blood Bowl competitions as well. Yeah, but he hasn't taken sprint, so you know what? What can you say about that? <laughs> I mean, like it's he's movement nine and he's got sidestep. It's not the hardest one turner in the world, but yeah, I, I get it. I get it. Yeah, you got to take sprint first. Um, right, and then the blitz has gone claws, mighty, horns, and guard rather than tackle. Interesting. Um, I remember Chunter just didn't bother with guard, you know, because he thought, oh, I've got horns to hit people, and, you know, pretty sure Chunter would have just taken tackle there. So interesting that he's gone guard. Well, you can't guard yourself when you're blitzing, can you? Know, that's the thing. Exactly, yeah. And uh, what's this rattle? Oh, got block. I think the guard is for the one turn, right? Block it's the only stone access, for... and then it. it... It helps with one turn. Yeah. Is is the what's the, is it got juggernaut this right or go? And what's the last block one? claws? It's not stand pro firm. Pro stand one. firm. Yeah. Block claws. Nice. Pro stand firm. So no juggernaut. Oh, that is weird. Hmm. So interesting. Not the best one turner. But he obviously I mean, likes in and then leaving him on the sideline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, he, he, look, look he's, it's a hell of a good matchup for him, isn't it? Like, uh, getting Dark Elves. Yeah, it, but, uh, I mean, that's that's on paper, like, probably the best game so far, Bright versus Strider. Mm. Like, for me, like I, that would be the game that I want to watch. Right, there you go. You heard it here first, everybody. Then we've got Ginny Fix, who's been Ashrim and Ungern to get here. That's pretty pretty good. And he has got lizard men. Ugh. Twenty four twelve eight. And no miss nexts, but a bunch of injuries. Millions nice of game. nickels. <laughs> My god, look at the damage on this team. Yeah. Sneaky get dirty player. Oh wow, look at that, he's gonna double AV up. Double AV up skink. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I love this player. <laughs> Block, break tackle, um, sidestep, movement nine. An armor 10 Great plus. tackle is pretty spicy as well. Yeah, it gives him a 2 plus dodge, yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh... The problem is, I guess he just he rolled for a stat right and didn't get Adge. Yeah. Because Adge is just better. And you can only take movement once, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, so... yeah, Adge is just strictly better than break tackle. It, it must have been that he, he, like... You know, he just <laughs> rolled, he rolled a stat and didn't get... He's only got plus one. Oh, yeah, he can only get plus one movement. Yeah, because he's movement eight, yeah. yeah so. so he must have rolled a stat and then just taken break time. Yeah, he's obviously rolled three stats, took movement first, and then just took double AV. But, like, I mean, he could have took a double, but, like, I mean, TV-wise, you're saving it with the AV, right? Because AV is, like, 10, isn't it? And a yeah. double would have been, like, 30. Yeah. 40, in and fact. Like, and he's 1,800, as it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. like, and, like, after he's got block, like, what? Double do you, I mean, you don't really want that like, strip ball or anything like that. No. Mm. Well, that's nice, isn't it? A legend skink. And, uh, yep, sneaky get dirty player, sneaky get. Oh, a legend with this. no with no injuries. That AV, look. <laughs> look at the state of all, this, all the other <laughs> players. And that double AV is absolutely clean for injuries. It's, it's like, that is just proof. That's science proof right there, boys. <laughs> there you Take go. double AV skinks, yeah. Yep. Meta, new meta. Yep. And he's got like six guards, pretty good. Uh, blocking all the Saurus, couple of tackle, bunch of mighty blows, stand firm. 
pretty 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 nice 1800 TV, yeah, it's isn't fine. it? It's, it's fine, yeah. It's, it's, it's got all the tools. It's fine. He's up against Seabrawls. Uh, he's got Scrambled Undead is the team name, but he's got a, he's got a lizard man kind of thing. He's, he's beaten Enchantress Fay and Demented. Um, and let's have a look. Oh, is that who? It is, is that Demon over. Ted in PB2? Maybe, it? maybe. I don't know. That's Demon Ted, though, isn't it? Whereas this is Demented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But isn't it? He spelt it wrong on BB2 by accident. Oh, is that, is that what it was? <laughs> <laughs> Which is hilarious. That is pretty hilarious. That makes yeah. it better that Lupac always called him Demonted because that's closer to what he wanted to be called. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right, so this is 1725 Undead with a miss next ghoul um, who can't come back because he's 95 TV now. <laughs> so he's going to have a problem if he wins this game working out what that's to cut so from his weird. team. Yeah. He probably just bought a zombie for like you know to to replace him right for this game, and he'll just sack the zombie if he if he wins. Everyone said, "Well, someone might die, and he's probably thinking someone anytime. might die, so it doesn't matter." Exactly. Oh, yeah. oh, he's got three hundred eight k. They've all they've all got all four hundred k in the bank. All these teams. Thank you very much, Rick. Massive raid from Rick Glorious. Welcome everybody to the uh, the uh, whatever this thing's called <laughs> season three chalice <laughs> playoffs thing with Dimmy G, the champ, 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 champ. Hello. Hello. Look at that. Look at that lovely cool. Minus move, but still move eight. Edge, edge two plus is pretty good, isn't it? Blodge. Um, these two mummies with defensive block guard. Block guard defensive mummies, pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah, I really like the defensive on the map. Like, like I say, like you can go dodge, but I, I quite like the defensive. Mm, couple of guard zombies. A uh, tackle mighty break tackle killer. Yeah, pretty pretty nice team. Pretty nice team from uh, from Seabrawls here. Clocking at 17.25. Oh, that would be an interesting game as well, because I, I think those teams are like more even than some of the other rounds. So mm. It's a hard one to call, really. Like, Lizard Men Undead is... Like, I don't like playing either side of that matchup. <laughs> yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's funny. Like, like, either way, I'm always looking at the other one that's going, oh, but they've got this, <laughs> I haven't got this, and then, like, but, yeah, like, I don't know who I favour. Like, at the end of the day, if Undead bang, then they've got a good chance. If Undead don't bang, it's probably in the favour of Lizards, I'd say. But. Yeah, probably. Like, yeah, the mummies are really hard to deal with for Lizards, and especially hard with defensive, right? It's going to be really hard for them to deal with those mummies, and then the mummies, you know, get working, and you get some fouls in, it's going to be tricky for the uh, Yeah, lizards. but the mummies, be... like, the mummies can become irrelevant pretty quickly, like, with the speed of the Lizards, right? And it's like... It's going to be it's... really interesting. Yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> you could just run away from the undead with the Lizards, or, like, their drive... And then let them score, and then just pretend to play Blood Bowl, score, turn eight, take it to overtime. You got a 50 50 for just winning. Yep. I don't, I don't know. Right, now we've got Ben Ball Baggins, looks like Orcs, um, beat Crystal Hunter, and then beat Life's a Bit, and then you die. <laughs> and I mean, he's not wrong. Yep. And it is Orcs, 27 13 5. That's a lot of games, isn't it? That's Sixteen forty is pretty low. Like, I mean, I, I, it's not that low, but it's pretty low. It's because he's got a hundred and sixty k blitzer miss next. Wow! So it that's... would have been a nice even eighteen hundred. Look at that double pass bust! What a luck! At least he's got <laughs> he's got a third pass, but what a luck, a dog! These are not injuries. These are not injuries. Well, that's why they've got them, right? Because he sacked the ones that got real injuries, and he's kept the nickels and the. Uh, that is the ones. single best thing about them introducing the passing stat is the fact <laughs> yeah. that you can get you can get minus PA. Yeah, that really is the does. only good thing about the passing stat in twenty twenty football. It I literally like is, yeah. Yeah, literally, just for you there, Dimit. Right, block guard <laughs> lineman, pretty good. Big but that was defensive. actually literal, Jim. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting mixed messages here. <laughs> Three guarders, so four, four, five guards all together, six guards all together. It's quite a lot of guards, isn't it? A dirty player, sneaky git lineman. Pretty decent. Yeah, pretty decent I mean, team. You, you say that, like, but for an orc team, like, you want like at, like ten 
guard, nine guard. You know, yeah, true, true. You do want that, but he's got he's got yeah. the sexy sexy blitzer there, moving at eight and two plus. Has he got has he got a troll? No troll. No troll. No. No troll. No troll. But uh, decent Depends team matchup, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven like down. I mean, orcs orcs are decent. Like like they're not again like gonna blow anyway with dazzling skills, but they're a solid team. Yeah, and he's up against Albachon. Albachon beat Tapestry and then beat Anarian. Oh, and, really? Uh, mm. is that, what, who's wannabe saviors? Is that Pearls? Is it? It looks like Pearls. Probably. Yeah, because the Wood Elves weren't out then. And yet, yeah. Well. So Albachon has Undead. Wow, he's played the most. 50, 15, 24. <laughs> That's oh, a lot of games. <laughs> imagine, it, like, Shawnee's just rolled his eyes somewhere in the world it's just gonna how do you lose 24 games in one day <laughs> but that's the thing the, you know the record doesn't matter so why, why that's not like, yeah them? that is it's that weird is isn't records. It? that is yeah yeah 16 but you see he likes to build his team up so you know he, he was the one who had the the six legends on on the uh on the on, no, i think even more i think he had like seven or eight legends on his uh no, maybe he's eight or nine. I don't. He had a lot of legends on his Blackhawk team. I guess, yeah. I mean, that'll be like you're gonna not really see that with the state of the TV cap now, are you? You're not gonna see the the amount of legends that. True. True. Yeah. But the the number of games has let him build up this pretty impressive mummy here. Block, defensive, dodge, guard, stand firm. That's a pretty nice mummy, isn't it? The other one's block guard. Yes. Oh. Yeah. It's pretty much. Perfect. Nice okay. white. A weird rackle frenzy strip ghoul there. And a yeah. bloodstep kick ghoul. No no proper ball carrier ghoul. I don't know if it died or not. Maybe it died. Maybe it had to <laughs> die because it's only 1665, right? So maybe it had like a 1300 carrier Carry ghoul. Carry on the rookie. Carry on the rookie. Rookie, yeah. And then he's got a sneaky get dirty player zombie. Um... So yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice. It's an undead team, like it's uh yeah, it's <laughs> where's his whites? Oh right there. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're up the top. Um he, he he's got he's got a pretty nice one. One of them's pretty nice, right? Blodge, guard, mighty, move, tackle. So you know, loads of uh, loads of SPPs on them. Hmm. I think <clears throat> that's that's gonna be an interesting game. Yeah. Super interesting. Yes. And uh, now I'm gonna tip I'm gonna tip Bembo for that one. Hmm. Now I've got Arza Wayne beat Fzel and Mankiz. And he's Orcs. Twenty eight seven. Uh two dirty players. Loads of guard here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guard. Do you approve of that yeah, more than me? We're getting there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Three <coughs> Has he got a troll? No, no troll? troll. No troll. No troll. No troll. Can't fit in the troll, right? With 1800 cap. 1770. Three rerolls. It's an orc team. Where's the goblins? Where's the goblins? Yeah, I think they should have a goblin. I always run a goblin in my uh, in my uh, orc teams. Right, Fricape, on the other hand, beat, beat Art in the first round. <laughs> of course, Art. Was, it was his duty to go out in the first round. Oh, it was the first round, was it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was that Fricker Bay playing yeah. the Woodies? Was it? Uh, not not Woodies, right? Because this is previous season. He's got a uh, he's got an Underworld logo. I don't know what it was, but uh, we've, we're about to find out. He beat Artemis one 0 in the first round. Beat Mister Page with Dwarves two 0 in the second round. And he's got Humans twenty three five nine Humans. Ashes team in Blood Bowl. The only damage against Mr. Page was a miss next game with rubbishy little humans. I guess maybe something died as well, actually. But he's probably he's probably studied um, who's it? Ungern's human run and just <laughs> managed twenty six armor breaks a game. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a uh, he's got a sneaky get dirty player catcher that also has block. So that's that's fair enough, isn't it? And uh, what's this weird one? Dauntless strip wrestle, and then three break tackle blitzers. We've gone, we've gone heavy on the break tackle here. Five guards, lodge thrower. Interesting. Yeah, I don't, I don't hate the break tackle, but I'd probably go mighty blow before break tackle. Yes, I would too. Um, 
Yeah, it's good, isn't it? It's good, Rick, to see names we know in this in this little tournament. So there you go. That's Fricapé versus Arsway, and let's hope Fricapé does the business. <laughs> totally unbiased, of course. Now I've got Zahu here, who beat Toxic with Fixed the Game. <laughs> That's pretty good, isn't it? And then he beat La Marseille, and it sure looks like he's Orcs. He is, 25-9-11. And uh, he is oh, another... He's over TV. He's over TV. Oh, he's over TV. 18-25, he's going to have to sack something to be able to play. But he's got, he's got like 16 players, right? 15 players. So he can easily sack somebody. He'll sack a lineman. I'm sure he probably had missed next, so that's why. But like, he probably brought bought an orc in for the previous game, right? Bought a lineman for the previous game because he had a miss next. That's what I'm gonna. Yeah. Like. Yeah, 1800 cap, Rick. The 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 cap for the ladder um, translates to the cup as well. Translates, continues, whatever whatever the word is. Yep. Um, right, and then we've got Biggins, block guard, mighty stand firm. Okay, blodge, two, I don't know, one blodge, blitzer, we've got the break tackle again, and the mighty blow tackle. That's interesting, isn't it? A lot of people are going with that. We've got a defensive one with the uh, with a tackle, but no mighty blow on him. And It's almost like a lot of people fail one in nine dodges and they're just sick of it. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely sick of it. It is. It is. Unless you hit, like, key targets as well, isn't it, with a mighty blow tackle, like with blodge. Mighty Blow Tackle, you know, Pro is a one that a lot of people were taking on Killers and stuff, and Juggernaut, we were, we, you know, lots of people were thinking about what would you take on your Killer, and it's an interesting choice in the Bray Tackle, lets you, lets you make Honestly, key Honestly, moving, moving one guard piece on a 2+, plus in, like, like picture like an Orc Mirror, mm. and you know you need that, you need that one block to set up the chain of all the next 10 blocks, do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's pretty good, and like, what's his name? Malmir in uh, fumble, like he takes all, like not first skill. Of, I know this isn't first skill, but like he takes bait tackle on all his orc blitzers as well, and it was pretty oppressive, like pretty great. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I lost. I lost to that team, and it was pretty annoying to face. <laughs> They're just elves yeah, like, and orcs. It was just their super biggest weakness annoying. is getting bogged down and being in the wrong place, and it kind of like makes that less likely. Indeed. Mind you, he also rolled well, but yeah, re really can be really good. All right, Orc Thrower, he's got Blodge, double movement up, really nice. You know, it's really nice, isn't it? It negates him being, you know, the big drawback of the movement five, being able to guarantee two movement up. But it is a lot of TV, and I don't like it so much. I'd rather have eight more skills. Yeah. It's like AV8 plus as well, which is mm. really scary. But I mean, he's got Blodge. Yeah. Yeah, it's got short hands as well, which saves you the re-roll, like, early in the drive, which is nice. Yeah, yeah. And he's got pass with a short drive as well, right? Yes, which is more relevant, right? The the, the, the three-plus passing and Or and the six-plus pass. passing, Jim. Yes. Too soon? Too soon? <laughs> yes, all right. All right, Jimmy. <laughs> it is too soon. It will always be too soon. And he's up against Rock, the people's champ. Beat Hiru in the first round, Conrad in the second round. And he's got dwarves. He's not actually the people's champ. Sorry, wrong rock. Um, 27, 8, 15, uh, 16, 55. He's got a death roller. Hey, a sneaky git roller. Minus strength roller. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, he's got a lot of guard, though, hasn't he? He's got guard for days. Eight, eight guards there. Pretty good. Troll Slayer. Uh, uh... That, I mean, that roller is like fine. Like, if you're using it to foul, then it like. Yeah, yeah, sneaky git makes it a pretty strong foul. A sneaky git DP plus two, that can just end teams by itself, can't it? And a uh, bunch of stand firm. Yes, yeah, so he's gone block guard stand firm, loads of stand firm. Four, five, six. Six stand firm plus the, the seven stand firm. Seven stand firm plus the roller. So, like, you know. It's got stand firm, but it's not there for the whole game, is it? That's a lot of stand firm on this team. But will they have enough to beat Orcs? Is the question. Does Timmy have the answer? No. I'm going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. And now I don't the last two. We've got we've got Gatus. Uh, let's say Gatus. Beat misspelled tree in the first round. 
and then in the second round beat Senor Lombard and it is Dark Elf 29 12 11 uh, we've seen this this is the only I mean YouTube hasn't seen this but did this live streamed it um, versus some lizards and uh, it was pretty 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 interesting match wasn't it it turned into um, what's interesting what's super interesting is this mighty blow tackle is missed next was I'm sure that's incorrect because it was missed next against the lizard men so I think it is actually higher TV than this and this guy isn't missed next um, so super interesting but yeah blood steppers it's all right isn't it yeah it's it's, it's all right it's all right yeah not the best team ever only 1450 but with, with this guy coming back it makes it 1630 so Glorious. Isn't quite right no, now, I, I, won't give I like how he's changed uh, the, like, the fans to popularity. And I will defend. <laughs> I will defend. Yes. Popularity 5. <laughs> yeah, it's really good, isn't it? <laughs> Dedicated fans there, Galencio. Um, <laughs> Christopher B, <laughs> thank you very much. Staying fantastic for 13 glorious months. And now I've got Pastel de Khan is the last guy. Uh, beat Mr. Light 2-1 and then beat Hubbin Bubbin 2-0. And... Is smartest boys does make you think orcs. It is orcs. Twenty four eight eight. Thirteen players. Seventeen fifty five. Uh, looks pretty decent. Lots of guard. That's a lot of orcs, isn't it? Yeah, thirteen orcs. No, I mean like in the whole bracket left. Oh yeah, yeah. There's like at least four, maybe five. Five orcs, five undead. I think out of six. Oh really? Teams. Wow. Yeah. It might be four of each. Might be four of each. I saw uh, somebody made a graphic, you know, the uh, breaky T or break it. Oh, so it's it's four orcs, four undead, two dark elves, two underworld, one each of lizard men, humans, dwarves, and Nurgle. Uh, it was five French and five Spanish people, and then one each of the other the other places. So uh, I think yeah, I think Strider's the one to beat. To be fair. Hmm. Well, there you go. Oh, throw move plus move, pretty good. Uh, sneaky get dirty player lineman. And yeah, a bunch of a bunch of guard and mighty blow and a cheeky defensive. Uh, a cheeky defensive. Cheeky, yeah. On a big end. And a bunch of minus PAs. <laughs> Everyone it's has. It, yeah, it's just yeah. Everyone keeps their minus. It's just PAs. an MNG, isn't it? It's just an MNG. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So there you go. That's that's it. That I mean, you can't really see the whole draw here because it's you know it's scrawly, but. You can check out. There's a there's a ch challenge. There's a challenge for the whole cup, and there's obviously this site as well. I'll link them. I'll link them both in the description. But of course, there may be spoilers if uh, if you know. And there's also a Discord. The Discord's really good. Actually, the Discord has uh, has like the the match results, and then it's got like a little spoiler, so you can click the spoiler if you don't. Wanna, yeah. if you, sorry, uh, sorry for the spoilers, chat. But Artemis is out round one. <laughs> And uh, yeah, and so yeah, I'll, I'll put all the links in for the for the video, and then uh, hopefully people enjoyed it. Thank you very much, Dimmy. Glorious having you in the booth. Glorious being here, Jim. Thanks for having me. Oh, thanks, and thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.